it's another day today and I'm just uh, trying to get a feel of where the different pieces fit so I can mark where I need to drill for the screws and uh, I think I will. I also mounted the potentiometers in the control plate because I need to see how they fit to in order to line this up to make the holes for screws the right way in the right places. Um, I had a little problem though. If you can see here, um, the putting geometers only came with one nut, and that meant that they would be sticking out uh, too much, um, and therefore the knob would float about above the plate. So I actually took the nuts from uh, the jack. Uh, the circuits uh, so I could adjust the height and uh, luckily I don't need uh, the knot for my jack solution um, as you can see here I just used a couple of washers to get the right uh, distance so that the jack, the side will sit the right way in here. Um, I decided that I will not uh, be shielding the uh, pickup cavities, thinking that because it's humbuckers uh, and also these four conductor pickups uh, has a a shield uh, connection um, that I don't think I need to, to shield the pickup cavities. I will be shielding uh, the control cavity. Um, so I think the first uh, job I will be doing now is to get the pickups uh, mounted so that I can fit the scratch plate and uh, pick up rings um, and see how it, it goes together. Um, so one thing I've decided is that the extra pick up ring that I have I will use on the scratch plate like this so that it kind of like matches the second uh, or the bridge uh, pickup. So I need to to drill some holes for this, and um, I think the easiest way to do that is to find the pickup screws. Also discovered that I don't have black screws for the uh, neck pickup, um, but I have another solution for that. You will see later. I'm just going to use the screws to help me line up. The big up ring. I'm just gonna get the guitar out of the way so I don't scratch it. Like so. And I 
I'm just gonna by eye and get it. Centered. So I feel I can feel the edge you see that, that it is lined up. And then we're gonna mark the four holes I need to make. And then I'm ready to drill that. One note that I made to myself about yesterday was the, the mounting of the studs for the trim where I I had to get pretty violent to get the second one in and uh, as I after thought I, I think I should have just drilled out uh, the holes um, to, with the 10 millimeter uh, drill because I actually think that it was the right size uh, and because it's it was so tight was because the, the finish of the guitar uh, had gotten into the holes um, and therefore made them smaller. Um, and also the test the drill I made in this piece of scrap wood uh, is a much uh, softer wood, I think it's pine or something. Uh, and therefore the actual hole uh, is a bit uh, bigger than this. Uh, and the stud went in uh, a lot easier in this than it did in the guitar. So I actually think that my first assumption that the 9.5mm drill was the right size was wrong and actually I should have used the 10mm the drill to, to drill out uh, or clean out uh, the holes for the studs. But anyway, it's in now and uh, it's definitely secure and uh, won't go anywhere. To get the right size of drill for this, I'm just gonna use the holes in the, the pickup ring here to This three millimeter. Starting very slowly. Yes, that's it. Four holes. I think I'll just try to peel away this protective layer here, at least around where the pickup ring goes, because that will be difficult with the pickup and the pickup ring installed. I'm not trying to to not remove it from all of the scratch plate because. So it is 
protect it as long as possible. This is actually a, a bridge pickup uh, that I'm using in the neck position. And that's because my bridge pickup has a very high output, so to balance it a bit better, uh, I'm using this bridge pickup, which also has a, a bit higher output. Um, And of course, in the bridge position, the uh, white or the cream colored uh, coil should be closest to the bridge. But in the neck position, it's the other way around, so that the cream colored coil is close to the fretboard and the neck. I saw some other guy on YouTube doing the same job here. He also had trouble. I think he said he was about 10 minutes of installing a pickup. So I had hoped I could do it better. <laughs> but it is very difficult. Yes. And then we got the bridge pickup. And this pickup ring for the bridge pickup is just tapered a little bit, so it has to go the right way around so that the, the tallest part is closest to the bridge. And therefore, I need to mount the pickup this way. Also, a bit different this pickup because it does not have a a metal uh, plate at the bottom here. It's plastic, and therefore it's self-tapping screws instead of the normal threaded screws. This was so much easier than the other one. Okay, now in order to fit this grass plate with the pickup, in it, I need to remove the neck and therefore also the couple of strings I got on here and the trim. So I'll just do that. Um, a trick to, to hold the trim in place, I don't use the springs right now. I found this roll of tape that actually were perfect to hold the trim in the right position. And I can also use that when I'm getting to the setup uh, because it actually holds the trim so that it's perfectly um, level with the body but I need to take the strings off so I just pop that one out problem here is actually I have to mount the neck again to line up the elegant 
the correct alignment on the scratch plate when I need to mark the holes for for that. But with guitar simply there's several lots of things that you have to do several times in order to get things right. But sometimes it's just easier to disassemble things again to get stuff out of the way. Just gonna put the neck to the side. And now we can concentrate on the body. Actually I think it will be easier now to shield the control cavity before I start to put more stuff together. Just want to pull all this ground wire for the strings and trim system back so it doesn't get in the way. And then also I think we'll just find a piece of sandpaper and just go over the sides in the control cavity to smooth them out just a little bit. Um, you can kind of like see that it's not all smooth and it will give me just a bit more space to get everything fitted in there. use a slightly damp cloth to remove the dust from the sanding and then just give it a minute to dry before I move on with the shielding. Now that I have the trim loom removed I'm actually gonna take a piece of black felt uh, and fit in here just so that it's kind of a bit protected when you pull back on, on the trim uh, and also I think it, it looks good um, I just need to kind of make a, a piece the right size
so like that. Oh, yeah, I got the shielding material and just gonna make it slightly larger than it needs to be because then there will be some excess that I excess that I can put up the sides I did a test in another video with this cut material and it seems to be conductive adhesive on the back so that I don't need to solder connections between the different pieces just using my finger to press it in here see in the video but something like that I'll try to get it pushed out into the corners just having a little bit running up the sides so I have a little overlap it is a lot easier to just simply use small pieces For this, it is much easier to, to fit in here. And also, I just uh, double check again with my meter that uh, that he actually is conductive um, and it is. So, I will not have any problems with uh, continuity and uh, between the different pieces. Also, I'm putting this in so it just overlaps the top a little bit. Not so much that it shows underneath the control plate, but so that it has connection with the control plate which also will be grounded I'm just marking there's a hole here for the wire from the spring cavity I'm just making sure that I can find it. Okay, now the shielding of the control cavity is done. I need to try and shield in this jack routing here. But first I need to, I think, remove some of the finishing here because the jack won't actually fit in here right now. I'm just trying to clear out some of the finish here with sandpaper. Maybe just a bit more because 
I will try and put some shielding in here as well. So. Just have to find the make the holes in the cows you lay in here. Which is not very easy because there's not very much room. Hmm? I think I will turn this over and give my attention for the battery box installment so I can get the wires for that in as well. Now I have a screw in this battery box. Just gonna try and blow out the I'm not turning to pitch or anything right now, it's just a, a matter of getting the strings on as a, as a guide. I'm just kind of by I align the square plate where I think it is in the correct position. Just 
checking that the strings are are equally running across the pole pieces. And also that the gap is looks to be even down here. I think that's about it. Then I'm looking at the bridge pick up. Kind of even space here that it lines with the bridge here and that is placed in the central under the strings. strings. If you look at the bridge pickup. Uh, and then I'm in, according to the trim, you cannot use the uh, trim plate because it's actually a bit wider uh, on the high E side than it is on the, the low E side. So if you look there, it looks like it's it's off center. You actually has to adjust by the strings. And then I'm just going to mark all the holes with my marker. And I actually should take off the square plate and so on to drill, but I'm not marking any holes for this yet because I want the other things to be solid before I try to align, align this. Before I put the screws in on the pick guard, I just need to remove this protective plastic from around the screws. Okay, I did the last couple of screws as well in the control plate. Of course I need to take these out again when I finish up the electronics. But uh, now it's starting to look like a guitar. <laughs> 